Education Channels is really simply the concept of the technologies that we create in order to do what we've always done, which is communicate with each other. So let's go into a little bit more detail about the online channel, because that's the one that we're going to spend the most time on in this class. The online channel, first of all, is characterized by being digital. What I want you to understand about this concept of a digital channel is a couple of things. All communication in the online world is reduced to ones and zeros. And there's a couple of things about ones and zeros that are really useful and, and interesting and, and you know what you should understand about that right off the bat. The first thing is that all communication is reduced to one common denominator, the bit. And the bit is able to represent anything from uh, animated character to a uh, written word to a uh, visual, to a sound, anything that you can think of can be represented as ones and zeros. Very convenient because all communication can be dealt with the same way. The second, which is a little harder to understand but just as interesting and just as powerful, is that digital communication is low power. It means it doesn't take a lot of energy to make something into a one or a zero. It does take quite a bit of energy to make something into a photograph and it's, uh, and it's a, a more difficult process. So the idea of digital technologies and digital communication technologies particularly is they reduce all communication to a common denominator and they make communication cheap and small and effective and efficient. So in addition to the online channel being digital, what's interesting to us is that it, it's based on a single world infrastructure, the internet. The internet is now has fingers in every part of the world and all communication can happen equally effectively throughout the entire world. So it's got a ubiquitous infrastructure, getting more ubiquitous by the moment, till before long it will be a ubiquitous infrastructure where you can get connect connectivity anywhere, anytime, to anywhere in the world. That's interesting. That's different than telephones, for example, where you had to string the wires from one place to another, or broadcast, where if there isn't a broadcast tower nearby you, you aren't going to get the signal. We can get everyone's signal from all over all the time lots of different devices. The final thing to know about the, uh, about, or the final thing that I want to talk to you about this online channel is that many different devices, your handheld device, the digital camera that's taking this, this computer right here, they're all different devices participating in that same world of ones and zeros. So we can have a, you, you, we can have a proliferation of devices. Your cell phone can be a computer, can be a digital device, and be as effective at communicating as my camera or my computer or my, um, or, or my landline telephone, which now uses digital communication as well. So lots and lots of different devices. This is something I want you to really understand about the, the online channel, is that it's a single channel. We invented this digital communication technology in order to span all forms of communication and reduce them all to this common digital denominator, but we have all sorts of different devices that do that. Your iPad, your iPhone, your iMac, those are all different varieties of the same thing. They're all communicators on the digital infrastructure. All right, however, for practical purposes, not really for philosophical purposes, but really for practical purposes, we're going to break down the, the digital infrastructure into, um, into web and mobile. Because you do, and it's a natural thing to do. It's really not a different infrastructure, but we think of it differently. And we'll, we'll, we'll include messaging as well as voice as well as apps inside this idea of the mobile channel and or the mobile sub channel we might call it and websites and blogs and online stores and things like that we'll call the web but i want you to understand foremost that really they're just different names for the same thing somebody at apple as usual invented the word app to describe the thing that you put on your cell phone what really is the difference between an app and a website hardly anything they use a different technology to, to create the infrastructure, but they're, they're leveraging the exact same infrastructure, they're doing the exact same thing. So don't be fooled by a different difference in naming between things that happen on the mobile platform and things that happen on the web platform. They're really the same thing, just in a different form. And by the way, that's the bane of many, many programmers who would really like to just create one thing and have it run everywhere, but every time we invent a new, a new device, we also invent a new way of programming for that device and it means that the programmers have to program things in many different ways. But what's really most important to take away from this lecture is that while we call them different things, in essence they're the same thing. It's this digital online channel which runs on a, a, one, which runs on a global unified infrastructure and uses a global unified way of representing all communication. That's the bit.